How did I do this week in NFL? I don't want to talk about it, but I'm going to anyway. I know one thing's for sure. The 1972 Miami Dolphins, even though there aren't many left, can pop open that champagne bottle for another year. Yes, the Philadelphia Eagles got the loss last night on Monday Night Football against the Washington Commanders. Therefore, the last of the undefeateds. They're now 8-1. and one. Still have the tiebreaker over Minnesota as they had defeated the Vikings earlier in the season. However, we'll see what happens as the uh, year progresses. As Week 10 is in the books... I got all the primetime games wrong. I got Carolina, rather Atlanta, Carolina. I had Atlanta over Carolina. That didn't happen. I had the Chargers over the Niners on Sunday Night Football in a rematch of Super Bowl 29. That didn't happen. And last night I had the Philadelphia Eagles, the last of the unbeatens, beating a division rival in the Washington Commanders. That didn't happen. Okay. Neither did I get, I didn't get the uh, game in Munich, Germany wrong. Boy, was that as happened in crowd or what? Not only a filled up football stadium in Germany, the social media and the pandemonium around the stadium for people that couldn't get in. You think the NFL was successful in Germany? <laughs> Where are they going to go next? That's the question. Let's see. I had Seattle over Tampa Bay in Germany. That didn't happen. I, what game of the year, by the way, was Buffalo and Minnesota. I had Buffalo, and that didn't happen. The Bills are struggling. Uh, Detroit over Chicago, same old Chicago Bears, I had that. Uh, Tennessee over Denver, 10 over Den, had that. Uh, Kansas City over Jacksonville, had that. Miami over Cleveland, had that. Giants over Houston, I had that. Pittsburgh over New Orleans, I had that. The Colts defeated the Raiders, so I didn't have that one. Uh, Green Bay over Dallas, that was a great game too, I had that one. And Arizona over the Rams. I had the Rams winning that. And, boy, the defending champs don't look like they're defending anything at all. They're certainly not stopping the run. And uh, overall, I went 7-7, seven and seven, which now makes me 84-63. and 63. All right. Week number 11 picks for J-Dog's Fearless Football picks will be at 2 p.m. Eastern uh, on Thursday. And now, let's see, now on the season, as I said, I am 84-63. and 63. Uh, J Dog's short shorts lay, uh, later on today. We'll be talking about what's coming down the pike for the rest of November. Some quirky days are coming up in the month of November. You're going to want to tune in on that. Like, comment, subscribe to this channel. I've got 82 subscribers right now. Thank you. So I've picked up two additional ones over the past few days. Keep liking, keep commenting, and please keep subscribing. I can't keep doing content unless you keep subscribing because, let's face it. If I only have a certain amount of subscribers, I'm in effect wasting my time. I need a ton of subscribers here if I want to continue to do great content that you're watching and responding to. So please, like, comment, subscribe. As far as this, there you go. It's in the books. See ya.